What's up guys? Mark here with Tamed Fire. I have Patrick with me today. We're going to start the fire right now. We've got a bunch of wood in there already. Two shots of vodka. Now we're just going to poke holes in the paint cans to burn them. That should be good right there. In the past, we used uh, two paint cans. I've changed the method now to where I have one can on deck, one in the fire roasting, and one cooling. So, and then you just kind of rotate them like that. pack it as high as you can get it and then uh, use a rubber mallet or some type of mallet to seal it shut. I like to use the coat hanger to put the paint cans in the fire and take them out of the fire. So you just make it straight as much as possible, I'll create a little handle for you here and make sure this hook is on there. When you're cooking these cans, be careful that hot wood doesn't lean up against this. Just be be conscious of where you put this. Be aware of where this goes. Because if it gets hot enough on these parts, it can bend and you'll pull up on this and this will come out and then have fun getting this out of there. So, Also, be careful because this wire will get hot. Okay, so when you pull it out of there, don't go grabbing on it because you'll burn yourself. Try and have it standing up as much as possible. That's it. And now it cooks. One more thing, when you're ventilating these cans, make sure you ventilate them enough because if you don't, this can pop off and then it'll start burning the charcoal that you're trying to make inside. Here in the cooling station. All right, we have a nice hot fire in there now. And so what I'm going to do is time this fourth can. So we've done three so far. I'm going to put the fourth one in here and see how long it takes. It's about 15 minutes. It takes about two radio flyers worth of wood to process an entire bag of the pine bedding. And we're using redwood to burn around the cans. Hello everybody, uh, Patrick here. Um, so Mark's, here, Mark's making the charcoal here and I'm going to explain a little bit about the chemical process that's happening here. So the chemical process is actually called pyrolysis. Oop, say and, that again. Uh, <laughs> chemical process is called pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is the process by which anything that's not carbon in the wood uh, basically, basically evaporates and turns into a gas. So uh, when, it gets a, when it gets to a hot enough temperature, um, the cellulose, the various uh, cellular structures, but not the cell walls, all all uh, vaporize and turn into into wood gas. And so, if you come a little closer, you can see we have fire coming out of the jets here. And that's that's not the wood that's not the wood itself burning. That's actually the wood gas coming out of the wood that's that's meeting heat and oxygen and then burning. Um, so what, what's happening here is that. We're burning, we're burning the wood without oxygen, and that's how we create the, the charcoal. And so, if you're making charcoal at home for cooking or for pyrotechnics or for whatever you're doing, this is the process you want to, you want to engage in. Um, this is kind of the best process if you're going to be doing for if you're going to be doing this for pyrotechnics, um, because of the fine particle size. You'll find other designs for various kilns that you can do out there. 
personally, I make lump charcoal for cooking, um, which is an entirely different process. And if I loaded my kiln full of this stuff, it would just fly everywhere and wouldn't work very well. But anyways, that's the, that's the chemistry behind it. So if you're looking to do this at home, um, basically what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to heat the wood up to anywhere above, anywhere above 450 degrees. The wood gas comes off, you burn off the wood gas and um, you don't want oxygen getting into the wood. If you do that, then you're just gonna get hot embers and it's, it's not gonna work. All right, thank you guys. Cool, now what's this method called? Pyrolysis. No, what's this particular method? How we've put oh, wood is, inside of a... This is an indirect charcoal retort. Indirect charcoal retort. Indirect charcoal. What are some, what are some other so the method, charcoal making methods? The method I use is called the direct method, which is where we have a flame, where we have a flame in here at the bottom, and then at the top there's material that's being baked, but it's being directly contacted by flame, and the way it's not burning is because there's no air getting to it. This is called the indirect method because, because burning material isn't coming directly into contact with it, it's coming into indirect contact by means of the paint can. Uh, so the paint can gets real hot, and then the, the gas comes out that way. So that's, this is called the indirect method. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Patrick. And uh, we're going to be showing you guys some more charcoal methods. We'll show you the direct method here soon. And uh, stay tuned.